Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working with some epoxy resin and we're going to be making some cool glitter keychains. Okay, so for this craft, you will need to lay down something on your workspace so you're not dripping epoxy everywhere. So I just had some foil laying around, so I just laid this down. You will also need two cups to make sure part A and part B epoxy in. And you will also need some type of silicone mold. I got these off of Etsy. I will link that shop in the description below. But there are plenty of other websites that you can order these from. You'll also be needing whatever glitter colors you want to make these keychains. I'm using this Spinit brand from Michaels. I really like these because they come in these resealable bags and I think you definitely get your money's worth. I always pour them into these containers that I have laying around so that they're a little easier to work with because they're kind of difficult to just pour out of the bag. But all the colors that I'm using today I did get from this brand from Michaels which I will also link in the description below for you guys. And as always, whenever you're working with epoxy resin, it is very important that you always wear gloves and a face mask to protect yourself from any fumes or chemicals that get on your hands or that are in the air once the epoxy is curing. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start by putting my gloves on. And you guys can't see, but I'm wearing a respirator mask. And I will try to link the mask that I use in the description also. So I'm going to begin by pouring my part A epoxy into one cup and then I will pour my part B into the other cup and it's really important that you get completely equal parts otherwise they will not cure correctly. Okay so I'm going to put this in hyperlap so you guys aren't sitting through this entire thing with me stirring but basically you just need to stir up your epoxy until it becomes clear because when you start stirring it it becomes kind of foggy and hazy and it's really important that you completely stir it until it is clear again otherwise it will not cure right. Okay so I'm done mixing up my epoxy and I have separated it into two different cups for my two different glitter colors. Now you'll notice that I am pouring quite a bit of glitter into this cup that is because I'm using some fine glitter and with my personal preference I don't want to be able to see through the keychain at all. I want it to be completely solid glitter. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I stir up the glitter. So first I kind of push it down a little bit and then I start stirring. And I just keep stirring it until it is completely mixed in. And I will show you the consistency that you're looking for. So basically you want it to be kind of thick and you don't want to be able to see through it at all. Now the main reason I like to use these small paper cups for keychains is because I like to bend the cup a little bit so I create a little spout and it makes it a little bit easier to pour this glitter resin into these silicone molds, especially these ones that have the fine lines and it's kind of harder to pour into. Then I'm going to start pouring my epoxy into the mold and I just kind of go slow and I may go back and forth over the lines until I completely fill it up. If you get a little bit over the mold, it's okay. I'm going to show you how you can scrape it back in there and reuse that resin. Okay, so as you can see here, I kind of went overboard on this last mold. So I just grabbed the cup that I poured from and the popsicle stick that I used to mix the resin and the glitter. And I just scrape across the entire mold until I have gathered all of the excess glitter resin and have put it back into the cup so that I can reuse it for another mold. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I want to get all of the bubbles that have floated to the top of my resin. Now you can use a heat gun for this, but I really like to use rubbing alcohol and I just spritz it on top and it immediately pops the bubbles. Okay, so now that we have sprayed the tops of these with the rubbing alcohol and popped all the bubbles, I'm going to let these set probably for about five to six hours until they are ready to come out of the molds, and I will show you guys the next step. Okay, and we're back. It's been about five hours, so now I'm ready to 
pop my keychains out of their molds. I'm going to be extremely careful when taking these out because I don't want to rip my mold or break my keychain. So I just slowly pull away from the edge all the way around and then carefully pull it out. You'll notice that my keychain can still bend. That is because it is not fully cured. We are not done with this yet. You'll also notice that I have some super sharp edges and we need to sand these down. And then I'm going to put another layer of epoxy over this and that is called doming just so that the keychain is extremely glossy on both sides and it gets rid of any of those super sharp edges. Okay, so to sand down my edges, I use my handy dandy Dremel. I love this thing. I highly recommend it to anyone that uses epoxy or resin to sand down anything that they're working with. I have several different size Dremels. I like this one because it's handheld and rechargeable. It has two settings on it, low and high, and you can change the head of the Dremel to any job that you need. They have a ton of different attachments that you can use for it. I believe I got this at Walmart, but I will link it down below where you can get it on Amazon also. Okay, so now I'm going to sand down any imperfections and sand down the rough, jagged edges that are sharp. Okay, so just like before, I'm going to mix my part A with part B, mix it together, stirring it completely until it is completely clear. And then I'm going to bend the cup to create my spout once again. And then I'm ready to dome these keychains and pour a little bit on top. And then I'm going to take my popsicle stick and just move it around the keychain until I have completely covered the entire top of the keychain. Okay, so now that we have finished putting resin over the tops of all these keychains, this is what it should look like. You guys probably can't tell, but I have poured resin over the entire top of this and I have pushed it all the way to the edges so there shouldn't be any sharp edges when it is completely cured. So once again, I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol that is in my little spray bottle and just spritz the tops of these to pop any bubbles that may have come up. Okay, and now that we're done with that, I'm going to leave these setting overnight since it's the evening. And by the time we wake up in the morning, they will be completely cured inside and out. And we can move on to the last step. Okay, guys, we have let these cure completely overnight. This is what they should look like the next day. I love how these came out. They are completely smooth and they look amazing. Now we're ready for the last step, which is putting the keychain on. So you will need one of these little key rings with a chain and then a separate little ring that you can connect the chain onto the keychain with. And then I also use a pair of these little jewelry pliers that I got online. I will link that in the description along with these other little keychain supplies that you will need. Okay, so I'm picking up my little key ring with my little jewelry pliers and I'm just going to hold it open and in place until I pick up my keychain and then just carefully put it on it. I apologize for the camera angle. It was really hard for me to see what was on my screen and put this on at the same time. But then you're just going to hold it open until you grab your key ring with the chain and then I just slide it on and then you're going to want to grab the ring once it has the chain on it and close the ring. And voila, this is what it should look like once you have your keychain on it. How gorgeous is that, guys? So now I'm just going to repeat the process until I have all these keychains done and I will show you guys what they all look like at the end.
All right, guys, I hope I helped you learn how to make some glitter resin keychains. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to just drop a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other crafting tutorials.